Today we're gonna repot and separate the snake plant. Gotta wrestle the sides here a little bit. And oh, there we go. Now what I wanna do is start to remove the soil. There are these really big roots that connect the babies to the mother plant. We're just gonna start removing the soil here. If you're removing any babies from a plant, you want to make sure they have their own root system sort of established first. This thing does not have enough roots to really sustain itself. So I want to leave this one on. This customer wants two six inch plants out of this. Fingers in there to try to find where those, those big roots are. And the natural separation point usually kind of reveals itself. So that's what we're looking for. Where are these plants connected? There we are, there we are, there we are. See these nice big U-shaped roots? We're looking for this one right here. Now this root right here is connecting this side of the plant to this side of the plant. So we're gonna go ahead, take our pruners. They're nice and clean and sharp. And I'm just gonna find that little point right there, that root, give it a good cut. Seems like there's another one right here. There we go. And there we have it, two sides of a plant. I've got a little cactus soil here. Remember, snake plants are succulents, okay? People don't ever call them succulents, but they are succulents, so we want them to drain very, very sharply. So that's why we use a nice little cactus soil. I'm gonna fill up the bottom here, always using a pot that has drainage holes. One of the main reasons we see people kill snake plants is, uh, well, one, overwatering, but two, um, they're, they're using pots that don't have drainage holes, and you have to have drainage. I want the soil level to come up you can see, sort of see naturally where uh, the soil level was before. So if you're not sure where to plant your, uh, or how deep to plant your snake plants, kind of take note of where they were planted before. You can see uh, this is the exact line where it was before. And so I'm gonna sort of line that up and plant it at the same, same depth. That way I know I'm not getting it wrong. With snake plants, it's usually good about, uh, to be about three or four inches uh, below into the surface of the soil. So I'm gonna center that up and then start backfilling with my cactus soil. Now, we wanna settle in the soil around those roots. So we slap that pot, right? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Tap in the soil around it. We wanna firm it up so that the plant stays upright, of course. Now we're gonna leave about a half inch uh, gap from the top. That way, when we water this plant, the water doesn't just flow right off. If I fill it up all the way to the top of the pot, you know, when I watered it, it would just flow right off. But when we leave a little gap between the top of the soil and the rim of the pot, we allow the water to pool up and then sink in. Now, snake plants are really great for low light, but they'll do great in bright light as well. And they'll even bloom in a bright light location. So make sure that your plant can see any amount of sky. When you get down on its level like this and you look out at the nearest window, you should be able to see blue sky, okay? Now we let them dry out 100% in between watering, and then we soak, soak, soak. Avoid getting the leaves wet. When we get the leaves wet on snake plants, we increase the chances of uh, bacteria that is not fantastic, leading to uh, crown rot, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Put some in the bottom right there, test it. Is it coming up to my soil level? Man, I kind of got lucky on the first one. Now we can backfill again. Now, these are succulents again, right? So whenever we make an open wound on a succulent, when we cut those uh, roots down there, we want those wounds to callus over before we water, okay? Now you can let them just air dry for a couple of days before you pot them up. This customer is coming back to get this plant today, so I'm just going to pot them up now and then tell her not to water for about a week. Now. Keeping it dry in there will be fantastic because those wounds will naturally sort of callus over and avoid uh, rotting the plants out. If we water them immediately, we risk rotting the uh, we risk rotting the plant with those open wounds. All that water takes up really fast, and it's just too much for the plant to handle, and we rot the plant out. So there we have it: a quick and easy repot and separation of snake plant.